Hey, so I asked myself, self, can you make an espresso without an espresso machine? We're about to find out. Good morning folks and welcome back to the channel and yes I did think can I make an espresso without an espresso machine I don't have one because they are expensive today we're gonna see if we can actually make an espresso without an espresso machine this coffee here is Rosso espresso coffee now I'm not expecting a whole lot out of this I paid a dollar ninety nine for this coffee uh, it was so cheap that I bought two just in case it was good so, what I've got is I've got the espresso coffee. I'm going to do an initial mix in this cup here. I'm going to strain it using this. This. This is my wife's. She uses it for tea. If she finds out I'm using it for coffee, this may be the end of the coffee bar. So, anyways, I'm going to strain it through there into this cup here. We're going to see how it works out. So, let's get moving. I'm not going to do a review on this coffee, folks, only because I'm just trying to see if I can make an espresso without a machine. Always. To me to point that at you. Always have a knife in your pocket. And here we go again. And yes, I went and got scissors rather than bleed out on the coffee bar. I hate to make a mess. So let's open this up. See what we got. Not a very strong smell. I'm not even sure how much to use. We're just going to wing it here. So, I'm going to go one, two, three. I'm going to stop at three. <sighs> what can happen? All right, so three and a little bit on the scoops. Going to add some hot water. Smells pretty good. Now we're going to try and strain it into this cup without making a mess. Before I pour it, who's betting I make a mess? I'm waiting. Leave me a comment. Who's betting I make a mess? I'll make a mess. I'm almost afraid to use this, guys. If she finds out I'm using it, <laughs> it's not very big either. But all right, so here's the problem: the glass is hot. Let's see if we can make it work. We have a mess. You're right. I knew it. Alright guys, note to self. You need a bigger strainer. What happens is you get a little bit of the grounds left in the bottom. You don't want them actually in your espresso. So I got some crud on the side there. And yes, I made a mess on the bar. I told you it was coming. Alright, so I'm going to add a little bit more water here. Not very much. Let's say it does look pretty good. You may have found out why that coffee was a buck ninety-nine. 
Okay, so I've let this cool off just a little bit because it was hot. Of course it's hot. It's coffee. It almost smells like the uh, coffee review I did last week with the fresh beans. It smells like that first day. Let's see what happens. Oh, my God. We're going to go with user error, or that is some horrifically bad coffee. Most likely user error. I probably needed some more water. Let's try, let's try that. I'm not about to give up on this, folks. I just can't give up on it. Now you saw how big the scoops of coffee were that I put in that, and I'm going to go with that might be the problem. The reason for this whole experiment is, is can you make an espresso without an espresso machine? Even though this is probably an epic failure, I'm going to say, yeah, you can. Uh, you don't need the fancy machine. If you happen to have one of these cheap frothers, you can froth your own milk. Put it in a microwave, froth it. The microwave warms the milk up so it doesn't make your coffee cold. Or you can froth your milk in a French press. I think it can be done. I think this was a failure, but I think it can be done. That's better. Oh, that's better. That's, that was it. That was it. I did not put enough coffee in it. Now, granted, this is not the premier coffee that we should be using to try this experiment. It just it was a buck ninety nine. I could not resist, so I should have resisted and saved my four dollars because I bought two. But that yeah, you can make your own. I think the coffee with a change of coffee would be great. Here's here's how you do it. You get your own espresso coffee, pour it into a glass, put your hot water in, mix it up. You then strain it by pouring it into another glass through a strainer. What you have left is your espresso because you will get solids at the bottom of the glass. You don't want that in this glass. That is how you get your espresso without an espresso machine. Again, use your frother, microwave, froth your milk. Put it on away you go. If I order an Americano, which is basically what this is, um, I'm guessing this is about two shots of espresso. You fill the rest with water, and that's your Americano. If you want to put milk in that, you can. That's how I drink it. So there you have it. You can make an espresso without an espresso machine. And as I always like to say, the best way to drink coffee is the way you like to drink it. This isn't the way I like to drink it. So I'll just leave that right here. See you on the next one. Later.